Christ, you must be in Christ, will be raised up first. Amen. And that those that are alive will be changed in the twinkling of the eye to be caught up to meet him. Amen? Amen. You don't want to miss this great event of the second coming of Jesus Christ, do you? Amen. The psalm is saying the word of God, that there is no God like Jehovah, that everyone that sings this song all over the world proclaims the second coming of Jesus Christ. What a proclamation. Amen. What a proclamation. His second coming. Hallelujah. Because if we don't get it right before he comes, when he comes, the saints and the Holy Spirit is leaving the earth. Amen. And if you couldn't get it right while the Holy Ghost was on here, if you know how hard it's going to be to make it in, denying the Antichrist, amen, amen. the sin wax and worse. Amen. Not being able to eat if you don't take the mark of the beast. Jesus. Come on, Jesus. God would rather us not be ignorant in these last days. Amen. And we are truly living in the last days. It's time for heaven and hell preach and teach. Amen. Because the people need to know that if they choose Christ, they get to live eternity with him. And if they reject him, that they are already condemned for the word of God says that we are born in sin and that we are shaped in iniquity. Amen? Amen. Because in the garden of Eden, Adam and Eve, they did not conceive. They did not produce before the fall. Amen? So unfortunately, there's not one of us that was not born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Amen? Amen. We thank God for the word of God that is the truth. I implore you to turn with me to Mark 7. We going back to Mark 7 on today. I was in it for the services of um, Brother Rodney Smith, but we going back to it on today. Mark 7, verses 31 through 37. For God, you know, you can read the word of God. You can read the same passages, and he'll keep giving you different revelation. Our message on that day was God does all things well. Jesus does all things well. Today, the thought that I would like to live, leave with you is that I want to be like Christ. Amen? I want to be like him, doing it the way he said that we should do it, with the power that he has. Woman of God, we thank you. We see that she is a working member. Amen? Hallelujah. She has come into the house of God, and she's, she's going to work it. How you doing, woman of God? I see she's checking out the area. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And there's nothing wrong with that. She's all right with me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because sometimes we need to be like the children. We have to be able to check out the environment. Amen. We, we have to know what's going on when we enter into a place. And the young people, they do that. They, the children, they check out the environment. They try the spirit by the spirit. Even though we don't think they do, they know the difference. Amen. Hallelujah. So I'm going to ask that you stand on your feet that we can read the word of God. Hallelujah. I'm, we're going to read responsibly. We're just reading from verse 31 to verse 37. The word, the, script, the scripture text is short on today. Sometimes we do 53 scriptures, but we thank God that on today, he just gave us five. Did he give us five? He gave us six. Amen. I'm, I'm going to read the first verse, and you can read the second verse. And again, departing from the coast of Tyre and Sidon, he came unto the Sea of Galilee through the midst of the coast of the Capitals. Then they brought to him one who was deaf and had an impediment in his speech, and they begged him to put his hand on him. And he took him aside from the multitude and put his fingers into his ears, and he spit and touched his tongue, and looking up to heaven, he sighed and saith unto him, Ephaphatha, that is, be opened. Immediately his ears were opened, and the impediment of his tongue was loosed, and he spoke plainly. And he charged them that they should tell no man. But the more he charged them so much, the more a great deal they published it. We're going to read the last verse together. And, and they were astonished beyond measure, saying, He has done all things well. 
He maketh both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. Amen. Amen. The word of God is blessed. You may be seated. Father, in the name of Jesus, hide me behind your cross. Allow it to be you that they see. Don't allow it to be me, O oh God. Let the anointing in, in, in my vocal cords go forward, O oh God, and break and destroy every yoke of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, we bind the spirit of ear blockage and mind blockage on today, O oh God. We pray that your word be just what you said that it is, a double-edged sword, O oh God. Let it penetrate, let it separate, and let it judge the very thoughts and attitudes of our heart on today, O oh God, that it will bring us into repentance. Amen. Hallelujah. The word of God will bring you into repentance. Amen. I don't care what you may have to repent for, but the word of God will convict you. It will judge the thoughts and the attitude of your heart, and it will cause you to change from the direction that you're in to walk in the direction with, with Jesus Christ. Amen. Who is the living word of God. And what we just read is the written word. Amen. And the living word does not speak contrary to the written word. Isn't that right? So let me hear someone say, I want to be like Christ. I want to be like Christ. See, we, we want to be like Christ. The reason why the disciples have come, the 12, the apostles, and they shared the word of God, they shared the word of God that we may be like Christ. That we can be made into disciples, that we can live a disciplined life like Jesus Christ. Isn't that right? Now, he didn't, they didn't come that we may be followers of Christ, that we may be disciples of Christ. And there's a difference between being a follower of Jesus and being a disciple of Jesus because one that follows is not always disciplined to do what it is that Jesus has done. Amen? And this discipline comes from us being in the word of God and the transfer transformation of our minds because I tell you bad thoughts bring on bad behavior. Amen? So we, our, our thoughts must be transformed. Uh, the way we perceive things. Amen? Hallelujah. Because sometimes we perceive things out of our own eyes and not out of the eyes of God. Uh, and we'll find that we ever. Hallelujah. But we're going to get to the text, and I'm going to ask Bishop to read verse 31. For here in the text, we find that we're coming from the book of Mark. And Mark was not he, Mark was not a, um, one of the apostles, but Mark was one of the companions of Peter. Amen. Mark sat and he, and he walked with Peter. Amen. But the Holy Spirit inspired Mark to write. Amen. And we thank God that that. That we don't have to be an apostle, a prophet, a pastor, a teacher, or an evangelist, amen, to have a relationship with God for him to inspire us amen. to do the things that the word of God says that we should do, amen. You find that there was Ananias who laid hands on the on Saul, who was now the apostle Paul, amen, and he was just a devout Christian. The word of God did not even give the man to God a title, but they sent him to someone that, 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 that was great in the word of God, where God has made Saul name great in the word of God, and he wrote two-thirds of the New Testament, amen. Hallelujah. So don't worry about the title. Step out on the word of God and do what it is that the word of God employs you to do. Amen. That which should have charged you to do. Build an intimate relationship with God. That you can be aligned with him and know what it is that his word tells us that we should be doing in these last and evil days. That we didn't come to testify of ourselves. Amen. We, I didn't come to testify on today. Not even of the man in the text that had uh, that were, had a, um, a, 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 a infirmity of death, amen, or, or, or his speech impediment, but we came to testify of him that has set him free, amen, from the speech impediment and from his infirmity, amen. Hallelujah. And some of us today, we need to be set free. Amen. Amen. From our speech impediment and from, because we cannot hear the voice of God. Bishop, please read that we can get into the text and we're going to let the scripture speak to us. Hallelujah. Verse 31. Again, departing from the region of Tyre and Sidon, he came through the mist. Of the region of the capitalists of the city. Let me hear someone Galilee. say Jesus was a traveler man. Jesus was he a was a traveler man, man, but he traveled from coast to coast. Yes. He traveled from place to place. Yes. We should be traveling, amen. We should not be in one place, right, declaring the word of God after we have declared it in one city, and that city has received all that wants to receive, amen. We keep flowing. Didn't yes. Jesus flow? Amen. Jesus was a traveler man. Go ahead and read, Bishop. 
verse 32. Then they brought to him one who was deaf and had an impediment in his speech. And the, they, they brought to him one who was deaf. And the word of God states that he had an impediment in his speech. Those of us that know that people that are deaf, they cannot hear sound. And because they cannot hear sound when they utter, they don't utter it properly, amen? So they have a speech impediment, amen? The comprehension of those that encounter him, amen? Whether it was onlookers or, or opposers or, 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 or participants, we find that they brought the deaf man unto Jesus. These had to be friends of his that brought him, amen? That they had to hear about the work of Jesus and all that he was doing in the land, and they saw fit to bring their friend, huh? Because they knew that he had a situation, amen? And some of us in the church today, we have a situation, amen? amen. We have a disability, amen? amen. It's not a natural disability, because we can naturally hear, amen? But we, our spiritual ears, have our spiritual hearing has not been activated, huh? We don't hear the voice of God the way we should, huh? Amen. God is a spirit, and he amen. deals with his people in spirit and in truth, huh? There are some that have been blinded by the God of the world, huh? They have not yet accepted Christ, huh? And we know the reason why they can't hear, because the word of God tells us that they can't hear, because the enemy blinds them. So they cannot hear the voice of God, and they cannot hear him knocking on the door of their heart because of them being blind by the enemy. Hallelujah. But if Jesus Christ have drawn you to the house of God on today, hallelujah, he, he have drawn you that you may hear. Amen. Hallelujah. There was a time when we all was deaf and had a speech impediment. I myself at one time was deaf to the spiritual things of God, huh? to hearing his voice. Huh? But I thank God for the blood of Jesus. Huh? I thank him for doing to me what he did to the man in the text. Huh? The word of God says that he took him aside. Huh? Some of us need to be taken aside. Huh? Some of us need for someone to speak on our behalf or, bring, or care enough about us that they will bring us into the house of God. That we may hear a word of deliverance, a word of salvation that will change our very life. That the, the, that the person that, that God has to represent him may stick their fingers in our ears. That they may touch they, 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 they saliva, amen, hallelujah, and touch our tongue that our strings of our tongues will be loose, hallelujah. I tell you, hallelujah, it is the liberty of the Holy Spirit, the liberty that comes with the blood of Jesus that gives us the, the, the opportunity to be able to praise. You will find that some come into the house of God and they can't even say thank you, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah, bondage. Hallelujah. Our, the strings of our tongue is bound by the enemy. Amen. Hallelujah. You will be. You will find that there's some that come into the house of God and they can't praise them. Hallelujah. They can't praise. The word of God is coming forth. They're quiet. Why? Because they have a speech impediment. The word of God says enter into my courts with praise and to my gates with thanksgiving. And why don't we do that? Because there is, we, we, we cannot hear the voice of God to be obedient to him and you'll find that we'll have a speech impediment. Why is it that God has set us free from our bondage but we don't go out and evangelize? I remember when he spoke to Mary Magdalene at the well and when Mary Magdalene received the words that, 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 that God, that Jesus said that I will give you water that you will never thirst again. And he told her all about herself. He told her about her condition. The word of God says that she was delivered from seven demons. Isn't that right? So that means that the word that Jesus Christ spoke to Mary Magdalene was a word of deliverance. It was a word that set the woman free. Amen. But we find that her natural life was a mess because her spiritual life was a mess. Not only in Samaria, Hallelujah. Did they serve other gods? Huh? The word of God said that she had five husbands. Amen. Huh? And that the one that she lived with was not her spouse. Amen. Hallelujah. That means that she, she was living in a life of promiscuity. Amen. I, I, I believe that that's what the word was saying. Huh? Or it could have meant that she had seven husbands. Who knows? Maybe they died. I don't know. Huh? But, but the word of God didn't get into all of that. Huh? But it did say that her life was a mess. Huh? And that the word of God says that the, the husbands that she had represented the gods that she served. Huh? Mm. Come on now. Because the Samaritans served many different gods. 
Not only did they serve different gods, they served the mountains that they worshipped in. Amen? They saw the mountain as a god. So you will find that when your spiritual life is a mess, that your, that your natural life will be a mess. Amen? But if you can hear the voice of God, if you can get in the word that your mind be transformed, uh, if you can anchor your faith in Jesus Christ and his atonement sacrifice at the cross, uh, all of these things can be changed. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. You don't have to be deaf to the voice of God with a speech impediment. Amen? How many of us want to be free from our speech impediment on today? Huh? Raise your hand if you just want to be able to hear the yeah. voice of God. Huh? Raise your hand if you want to be able to go out and share it with others and speak plainly. Huh? For the word of God says that once he took him aside. Huh? And sometimes we just have to take people aside. Huh? Sometimes we have to whisper to is Jesus Christ your savior? Huh? Honey, who's willing to do that on today. Huh? Sometimes we have to give them some one-on-one -on -one attention. Amen. Hallelujah. But we have to make sure that the counsel that we give is about and the witness that we are is about Jesus Christ. Because huh? only he can set them free. Amen. Huh? They didn't take him to a doctor. Huh? For he was deaf with a speech impediment. Huh? We find that in the world that they give deaf people hearing aids. Huh? That they may hear. He go, oh, she go, but sometimes that stuff is temporary. Huh? Yeah. The hearing aids will even fail. Huh? But what Jesus had did for the deaf man, huh? we find that his healing was complete. Huh? We find that he was made whole. Huh? And the word of God says that immediately huh, that his ears opened huh? and he was able to hear. Huh? The word of God said that the strings of his tongue was loose. Huh? I tell you, the enemy got some of our tongues bound on today. Huh? They're bound and we can't praise. Huh? They're bound and we cannot declare the word of God. Huh? They're bound and we won't be a witness. Huh? They're bound and we won't evangelize. Huh? But I thank God. Hallelujah. I thank God for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to your name, oh God. Hallelujah. And the word of God says that, that Jesus, he took him aside. And he looked up to heaven from whence all of our help come from above. But I tell you, he has poured out his spirit upon all flesh. And those of us that have been baptized with the Holy Spirit, amen, our power dwelleth within us. Amen. The word of God says that I can do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you ask and can imagine according to the power that worketh within you. What type of power do you have working in you? Are you baptized with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues? Amen. Is the spirit of Jesus Christ living within you? I tell you, I want to be a wonder like Jesus. I want when people that, that, that don't know Christ or people that's in Christ that may be deaf or have a speech impediment or they may have cataracts rats on the eyes. I don't know what the disability, the spiritual disability may be, but whatever the spiritual disability is, that when they come into, into, in, 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 into the um, company of those of us that walk with Christ, amen? We don't walk with Christ like the apostles did in the days of old, because they walk with him physically, but today we walk with him spiritually, because the word of God says that we should live and move and have our very being in the spirit of God, amen? And we find that the spirit, the Holy Ghost is the spirit of Jesus Christ. Huh? So we walk with him spiritually. Huh? And we want those that come into our company huh? that don't know him. He go both shop huh? or have heard of him and they have not received since they believe huh? that they he go both she go by. Hallelujah, you can be free of their spiritual disabilities. Huh? Let me hear someone say, I want to be free of my spiritual disability. I want to be free of my spiritual disability. Amen. I want to be able to be like Christ. Huh? I want to be able to heal like Christ. Huh? I want to be able to speak a word, and when I speak it into the glory of God, that it happens immediately. I want those that come in my presence huh, that are blind, that they may see not just naturally, huh, but spiritually, that they may hear not just naturally, but spiritually. Spiritually, I would like to know that because we speak in the word of God, that the strings of their tongues can be loosed, oh God, huh? that their limbs can grow, huh? that every dead bone within them can have life. Jesus. Hallelujah. And I thank God for the word on today. Hallelujah. The 
the word of God says, and straightway his ears were open, and the strings of his tongue was loose, and he spake plainly. Hallelujah. I tell you, when Jesus touched you, hallelujah, he touched a complete man. Amen? Amen. He doesn't leave anything undone. For the word of God tells us that he has done all things well. That he is the one that created the body. And he knows how the body is supposed to work. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The word of God says that he charged them that they should tell no man. But the more he charged them so much, the more a great deal they published it. Come and see about a man that took me aside, stuck his fingers in my ear, spat on his finger and touched my tongue. Can you imagine someone <laughs> spitting on their finger and touching ego bo sha ba ba your tongue? If it's going to set me free, Hallelujah, Jesus, do it. Amen. Amen, hallelujah. Whatever it takes that I may live a life of liberty, that I can live life and life more abundantly. How many people just want to be free on today? Jesus. The word of God says that he will set us free from all bondage, from all lack, that he has released the blood of Jesus unto us to lift us up out of every pit of the enemy. Amen. Hallelujah. And then the word says, and, and, and they were beyond measure astonished. I want to be astonished by God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not looking for the same exploits to be done. He said, Jesus said that we shall do greater things than him. The signs shall follow our ministry. The church was built on the power of God. It was founded on the doctrine of Jesus Christ and the power of God. Hallelujah. Those of us that signs are not following our ministry, we have spiritual disability. Amen? Because the word of God says that we shall preach the gospel into the uttermost parts of the world, and that signs shall follow our ministry, that we shall speak in new tongues, and that we shall lay hand on the sick, and that they shall recover. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So, so we should be like Jesus. Not trying to be like Mike on today, but trying to be like Christ. Someone say, just want to be like Christ. Amen. Just want to be like Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Want to be able to do the great exploits that he did. Want to be able to discern properly and know the difference of who it is that I'm speaking to when I'm speaking to them. Amen. Want to want to be able to grow and be disciplined to live a life that Christ lived. Because Christ had the mind to do the will of the Father. That's the mind of Christ. Amen. Amen. To do what it is that God had placed forward in his word for us to do. And the word of God says that they was astonished, amen, and that they said he does all things well. He maketh both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Some of us on today, we need a touch from God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He does all things well. I don't care what the situation, what the circumstance may be. He's able to do it, and he's able to do it well. Amen. And he's able to do it in a way that he will astonish you if you're willing to bring it to him. Amen? That he will astonish you, and he will cause for you to go out and tell it everywhere you go. Amen. That's the type of God we serve. When I find those that don't want to go out and tell it, I wonder who touched them. Jesus. Amen. Because I know that when he touched me, I was telling it. Every, I, I was yelling to everybody. You could start a conversation with me about Cheerios and I would wind up on Jesus. Let me know I'm free. I'm Amen. free. He has set me Jesus. free. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't care where the conversation started with me. It would always wind up on Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because how do you not testify Jesus. about a man that has set you free Hallelujah. from bondage? How do you not testify about him that descended from heaven? who came down to show us the way, hallelujah, once he had touched your life, huh, you have to be a witness. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So I'm going to ask that you stand on your feet on today. Hallelujah. Those of you that are hearers of the word of God on today, I'm going to ask that you just don't hear the word. For the word of God said, those that have ears, let them hear what the Spirit of God is saying unto the church. For God wants to set you free on today. Jesus wants to set you free of your, of your deafness to the voice of God. He wants to set you free of your speech impediment. 
He want to take the cataract off your eye that you may be able to see spiritually. He wants to set you free from bondage that you that, that you can have a relationship with them. He wants to set you free and that you may choose life that your children can also have life. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Come to Jesus. Come.